Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session of questions for this morning. Topic for this morning, fasting and praying in forgiveness. Topic one more time, fasting and praying and forgiveness. On that series, fasting and prayers set for a flight. Host by Homer South, the key. Text taken from the book of Mark chapter 11, verse 24 down to 26, but let's pray for me. Father, we thank you for the praise and the We thank you for the strength and thank you for watching over us all through the night. We've come to hear your word this morning, but we are speak to us and grant to understand it. He said, it's a computer one thing, according to divine power, you've given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of your word. We've come to seek the knowledge of your word this morning, open our understanding and grant us access to the blessings of your kingdom. By Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Topic one more time, fasting and praying in forgiveness. On that series, fasting and prayers, said for applied host. Look at key text taken from Mark chapter 11, from verse 24 down to 26. I read from verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And verse 25. And when ye stand pray, forgive. When ye stand fasting, forgive. If ye have aught against another, that your Father, also which is in heaven, Forgive you your trespasses. And in verse 26, the last verse said, For if you will do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. May the Lord bless you all and grant us understanding in Jesus' name. Father, I read in Isaiah 58 from verse 3 to 11 said, Wherefore have we fasted? Say they, and thou seest not their complaining to the Lord. Said, Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest not knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast, ye you find pleasure and exert all your labor. The Lord filled them their fault and was full. The Lord said, Behold, ye fast for strife and debate, and to be smelt with a feast of wickedness. Ye shall not fast, as ye do this day, to make your voice to be heard on high, said in verse 5. It is such a fact that I have chosen a day for a man to afflict his soul. Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush, and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? And would thou call this a fast? He said, All. Oh, and an acceptable day of the Lord, said in verse 6, Is not this the path I have chosen to lose the bounds of wickedness, to undo the heaven bodies, and to let your prayers go free, and I hear great every door, so you have to let your prayers go free, you have to come out of every challenge you are in. And in verse 7 said, Is it not to do thy bread to the hungry, and thou bringest the poor that cast out to thy house, that thou seest the naked, then thou will cover out the naked, said in verse 8. Then shall thy life break forth as the morning, and thy hell shall spring forth speedily, and the righteousness shall go before thee, and the glory of all shall be thy reward. And in verse 9, Then thou shalt call, and the Lord shall answer. When you cry, you say, Here am I. And of course, in verse 10, he said, And if thou wilt draw out thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness shall be as a moon. They're talking about forgiveness there. And in verse 11, And the Lord shall guide thee continually. And satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a water garden, and like a spring of water, whose water fail not. And the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. And for that reading, Matthew chapter 24, from verse 10 to 13 said, And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Said in verse 11, And many false prophets shall arise, and shall deceive men. And verse 12, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, I pray. Your love for God and for humanity will not wax cold in Jesus' name. But as he said, For he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. You and I will be saved even the end in Jesus' name. Topic one more time fasting and praying in forgiveness. Under the series, fasting and prayers sets for a flight. Hold to the key text taken from Matthew 11 24 to 26. We read that in the reading, Isaiah 58 3 to 11, and Matthew 24 10 to 13. It's on the way of the ledger time. Read the scriptures again. You will be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking cap. My blue word for this morning is true forgiveness is God's criteria for visitations. I think that again, true forgiveness is God's criteria for visitations. Think about this. Today we'll look at a topic fasting and praying and forgiveness on that teaching series on fasting and prayer set for a flight. By introduction, let's know that fasting and prayers is similar to a seed sown to the ground. When a seed is sown and a treat, a care is given to the seed, it will definitely produce good fruit. The same is in the same is in true fasting and prayers. When fasting and prayers is treated, care and nurture in love of God and men, and with great forgiveness, fertilizer, 
then with our fasting and prayers deliver amazing results. And on this note, we shall be learning how fasting and prayers in true forgiveness set us for our flight and high prayer. God will grant understanding of this subject and God will set us on high in all our adventure in Jesus' name. In Genesis chapter 32 from 23 to 29, we see our father Jacob with great forgiveness in his heart. He seek the Lord for the Lord to entreat mercy upon him for all the wrongs he's done to his brother Esau. And the Lord heard him. The Lord forgive him and he had a change of name from Jacob to Israel. And what a nation it is. Then it was 29. And the Lord blessed him. I pray, I should fast and pray for him. The Lord will bless you in return in Jesus. The first Psalm chapter 1, verse 1 to 20. He's talking about Elkanah. He has two wives. He's talking about Phineas. And of course, Hannah. And of course, Hannah was barren. And she was being provoked in verse 6. And her adversary also provoked her soul. But to make her fruit. Because she had been shut up. Because the Lord had shut up her womb. And in verse 7. And as they did so year by year. When she went up to the house of the Lord. She also provoked her. Therefore she wept. And did not eat. So anytime that the devil knows that something big is coming from God to you. He throws unforgiveness to you. Why I pray God will grant you grace to be smarter than the devil, to jump and pass every unforgiveness around you. In Jesus' name, verse 9 said, So Anna rose up after she had eaten in Shiloh, after she had been drawn. And of course, Eli was seated in the post of the temple. And in verse 10, and she was in big tennis of soul and prayed unto God and wept so, saying, She bowed about. If the Lord will give her a man child, she sh no rest will touch his head, and she will give him back to God to serve God on the days of his life. And in verse 12, while she was praying, I like Mark her mouth thinking she was drunk. She said, I'm not drunk, I'm a woman with a soul for her, looking for God for a child. And of course, Eli told her in verse 17, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee that petition that I have asked of him. And in verse 18, she went. Her way she eat and her countenance was almost sad in verse 19. Then he rose early in the morning and worshiped the Lord and returned. And her kind of knew his wife Anna and the Lord remembered her. The Lord gave her a child and was 20. Wherefore it came to pass when the time was come about and her heart conceived that she bear a son and called his name Samuel because I've asked him of the Lord. So anytime you come to God in forgiveness, look at it. Her female, her compatriot was provoking her and her children to anger, for Anna would not. I said the anger. She came, seek the Lord, and the Lord grant her her petition. As you seek the Lord in forgiveness, in true forgiveness, as you God grant you all your other desires in Jesus' name. Luke 11, 1 4. He said, and came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he sees one of the disciples, said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray. As John also taught his disciples, and he was too, and he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father of Church in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on this in heaven. He said, give us the day I deliberate in verse 3, verse 4, when we said, ah, forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And the us the temptation of the boss from evil, God grants understanding of the subject in Jesus' name. We'll be trying to look at the subtopic, how fasting and prayers sets for a flight to tribulation. Yesterday, we saw a point yesterday, we saw by waiting in true salvation. And today, we're looking at one more point, by waiting in true forgiveness. One more time, how fasting and prayers set apply by waiting in true forgiveness that's our point for today by waiting in what in true forgiveness however you can reference yesterday's teaching waiting in true salvation i'm sure you bless in jesus name very quickly how fasting and prayer sets for a fly by waiting in true forgiveness this simply is fasting praying and such as scriptures in true forgiveness to god and all men in respect of the gross evil of men and what god have not done yet in our lives which definitely sets one on a flight. I take that again. How fasting and prayer set for a flight by waiting in true forgiveness. We said this simply is fasting, praying, and searching scriptures in true forgiveness to God and all men, irrespective of the gross evil of men and what God have not done for us, which definitely set us on a flight. In Genesis chapter 50, from the 16 down to 23, talking about Joseph, and they sent a messenger unto Joseph, saying, Thy father did command. Before he died, saying they were afraid that Joseph was going to destroy and talking about his bread. 
the verse 17, so shall ye say unto Joseph, forgive, I pray thee now, the trespass of their brethren and their sin, for they did unto the evil now, we pray thee, forgive the trespass of their servants, of the God of their father. And Joseph wept when he spake unto him in verse 18, and his brethren also went and fell down before his face, and they said, Behold, we be thy servant. And in verse 19, and Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for I am for I am in the place of God. He said, Am I in the place of God? He was asking, verse 20, he said, But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. I was 21. Now therefore fear you not, I will nourish you and your little ones. And he comforted them and spoke kindly unto them. And verse 22, and Joseph dwelt in Egypt. He and his father's house, and Joseph lived a hundred and ten years. And Joseph saw Ephraim's children, up to the third generation, the children also of Marcia, the son of Manasseh, were brought up unto Joseph's knees. In summary, we all knew that Joseph was sold, they intended to kill him, so they sold him for slavery. But the Lord took him from Potiphar's house to the prison, from the prison to the palace, and he was the one that saved his brethren at the end of the day. I pray every wickedness that the enemy and his people have taught against you, the Lord will turn it for victory for you in Jesus' name. Because how much of a one from verse one and two, you see how uh, Finima, talking about the second wife of Elkanah, keep provoking Anna to anger, but Anna will not conceive, for she came praying and praying, and the Lord gave her her someone. The Lord will grant you her desires in Jesus' name. Don't forget Isaiah chapter 53, from verse 3 down to 11. They were complaining, Lord, we have been fasting, have you not seen? We have deprived ourselves of food, Lord, have you not seen? And the Lord said, this is not the kind of fast I have choose. For you are fasting to show people that you are fasting. We are sacred so that people will say, yes, these are the servants of the Lord. Said, that is not the kind of fast. Said, the kind of fast I have choose is such that you will forgive people of their wrongs. You bring the poor to your house. You will give to the hungry and all that. And when you do that, then your life shall bring forth. Said this and this and this shall be your blessings. And I pray the Lord will set us on her in Jesus' name. And I'll forget Mark chapter 11, verse 24 down to 26. Said, Therefore I say unto you, What things so it is when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Said verse 25. When ye stand pray, that means when ye stand fasting, forgive if ye ought against another. That your Father also, which is heaven, may forgive you all your trespass. In fact, Jesus said, You are about to drop an offering. And you remember you hold grudges against someone, drop the seat, go and apologize, go and fix the rank over the person, then come back, drop your seat. That is when your seat will be acceptable. Go grant us understanding in Jesus' name. Said in verse 25, when you stand praying, forgive. And of course, said in verse 26, but if you do not forgive, neither would your father, which is heaven, forgive your trespasses. Imagine if God says we're going to forgive us, none of us will be alive right now because we sin every day. God will grant you understanding of the subject to forgive all that wronged you in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 17, verse 1 to 4. Then said he unto his disciples, It is impossible. It is what? Impossible. But that offenses will come. For who unto him through whom they come? So it is, of course, offenses will come. But it is who if it comes unto you, said, Come through you rather. And verse 2 said, It were better for him that their milestone were hung about his name and is cast into the sea. That, that he should offend one of the little ones. So each time you offend someone, each time you push someone to unforgiveness, you're also putting your destiny into the lake of fire. Why I pray none of us will end in fire in Jesus' name. But he said, Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. Said in verse 4. And if he trespass against thee seven times a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent. Thou shalt forgive. So there's no excuse not to forgive anyone. Please forgive everyone. I tell people, I said, I am the most abused pe person on the earth. I don't know about others. People have abused me, not just step on my toes. People have true practical physics, practical shit on me. But I forgive them from my heart. Even those that will still offend me later in a couple of years, I have forgiven them in advance. God will grant you the spirit to forgive and to move on with your life. I will not permit to share some of my gruesome experience with people who have forgiven people. I'm talking about men of God taking food off my mother and all that. But I have forgiven them and I have moved on. And I pray God will grant you the spirit to do likewise. 
in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 30, 32. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Said in verse 31. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Said in verse 32. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgive one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. God will grant you understanding of the subject. This year, you will end in exceeding flight. This year, you will end in exceeding glory in Jesus' name. One more time, we're looking at how fasting and prayer sets for our flight. And we're looking at by waiting in true forgiveness. We said this simply is fasting, praying, and searching scriptures in true forgiveness to God and all men, irrespective of the gross evil of men, what God has not done yet, which definitely set us on high. Many people are offended in God. And God is the reason why they are where they are. God is the reason why they don't have a child. God is the reason why they don't have a job. Believe in me. Never you be offended in God. He is your helper. If you are offended in Him, of course, He will turn His back off you. And if God turns His back off you, then you are doomed forever. God grant you understanding in Jesus' name. In summary, you can read Genesis chapter 50 from verse 16 to 23 at the leisure time. For Samuel 1 1 to 20, Isaiah 58 3 to 11, Mark chapter 11 from verse 24 to 26, Luke 17 1 4, and lastly, Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 30 down to 32. Please endeavor to read those scriptures. God will speak to you through them in Jesus' name. Lastly, fasting and praying in, in unforgiveness is like pouring water into a basket and waiting for it to be filled. Meaning, fasting and prayers delivers maximally when engaged in true forgiveness. Unforgiveness is cancerous to Christianity and spirituality. Unfortunately, many people live in it. Unforgiveness leads to offenses, and offenses leads to bitterness and barrenness. And must be avoided at all costs. However, without a salvation in Jesus, one can't truly live in forgiveness. As such, I call you to say yes to Jesus in truth so you can receive a new heart. Remember, Ezekiel said, A new heart. Ezekiel said, 7 25 down 26, there about. He said, A new heart and a spirit, new spirit will I give you. He said, I'll pour water upon you and ye will be cleansed. I'll give you a heart of flesh. He said, I will take away the stony heart and if you had a word, a heart of flesh, God will grant you a new heart, a heart of total forgiveness in Jesus' name. Matthew 18, 21 to 22 said, Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him till seven times because Peter was offended. People are offending Peter every day. He came to us the matter. Look at Jesus. Look at what Jesus said in verse 22. Jesus said unto him, I say unto thee, until seven times, but until 70 times seven. So 70 times seven. Four nine and there are about times. So of course no one can offend you those number of, of thousands times. But in summary, Jesus is saying, if a man offend and he repent, please forgive him. For gradual understanding in Jesus in Mark, Mark chapter 11, 24, 25, precisely said, and when you stand praying, forgive. So when you stand fasting, forgive as well. If you are out against another, that your heavenly Father, which is heaven, may forgive your tribe. So if you don't forgive people, God cannot forgive you. If you really want to move on in life in this year, forgive people. God will let you understand that in Jesus' name. Ephesians 4 30 said, Grieve not the Holy Spirit. Wherefore ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Said in verse 31, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clap on evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Said in verse 30, but be kind one to another, tender hearted, forgive one another, even as God for Christ's sake have forgiven you. God will grant you understanding. Second Corinthians verse 7. If anyone be in Christ, a new creature, all old things are passing, and behold, all things are not become new. You want a new heart, you want a new spirit to forgive, and to fast and pray, right? Place your hand on your chest, bow your head, pray this prayer after me. Jesus, I come to you this morning, and I must see you forgive me my sins. I know you come to this earth for my sake on the third day. You rose after your death. Right now, Jesus, I confess with my Lord and my Savior. Have mercy upon me, Jesus. Wash me with your blood and purify me. Write my name in the book of life. And grant me a new heart. Grant me a new spirit. Grant me a new soul. Grant me a heart to forgive people in respect of what they've done. So that I can make heaven rain of me. And so that my personal prayer will deliver maximum result. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you for receiving me as well. For in Jesus' name I pray. You know, take two prayers. First prayer, Father, empower and embrace me to live in total forgiveness from offenses in all areas of my life. In the name of Jesus, Ephesians 4, 32 said, For be kind one to another, tender heart, and forgive one another. Even as for Christ's sake, Christ has forgiven you. Remember, he said we should love one another. That is the second commandment.
at the first to love the Lord. So when you're living in love, you can live in unforgiveness. We understand yes, pray, Father, empower and increase me to live in total forgiveness from offenses in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, this my petition here, your God, empower and increase me to live in total forgiveness from offenses in every area of my life. Thank you for hearing me. For in Jesus name I pray. Last prayer, Father, deliver the saints in Nigeria and in Africa from the cause of gross offenses in you. In Jesus' name, Matthew chapter 11, about 6, he said, And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. So Jesus knows that a lot of people were offended in him. John the Baptist was offended in Jesus. He lost his head. So let's pray. So many saints are under the cause of offenses in God. They believe that God is the reason why they are not married. God is the reason why they don't have money. God is the reason why someone is affecting them. That is their belief. So many folks in the body of Christ. Let's pray for them. For the change, Father, deliver that saint in Nigeria and in Africa from the cause of gross offenses in you. In the name of Jesus, Father, deliver that saint in Nigeria and in Africa from the cause of gross offenses in you. In Jesus' name, thank you for hearing us. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Join me, pray this prayer, share this gospel, and be blessed from intercessory ministry. God blesses you tomorrow. I pray that this day will be a day of fruitful waiting in the Lord. Private Jacob Master, please, you can start fasting. We're running to the one day series. It's going to end towards the end of the month. I pray God will grant you grace to join us. God bless you, and you'll be blessed in Jesus' name.